What is good guys, back with more SPL, we have Snow from the Cryos versus Oblivion from the Scooters this time, I assume there's a Scar Victini, uh, because I know Snow likes to use Z-Move on Landris, so I don't think there's going to be Z-Move Victini, he should just U-turn out here, Oblivion should just go into his uh, Diancy, this is most likely a Solvis Bulu on Oblivious si Oblivion's side, probably a Scarf Katana, Z-Move either on Zygarde or Heatran, um, and then Grassy Seed Halducha, so you can go into either Greninja, Suicune or... Scissor here. Going Scissor makes sense to get up the Mega, then you can check uh, Kartana a bit, bit better. And yeah, on Oblivion's side, this could be Rocks the Anthe, which would mean that the Heatran can have an, ex an extra move slot. So the Heatran could be Madness Storm, Off Power, Toxic, and Taunt. But it could also be um, Rocks on Trend. Not sure about that. We will see that later in the game, potentially. So Scissor comes out here. I think Snow should just Bullet Punch. Because if Snow U turns and Oblivion stays in, that could be bad for Snow. Um, I believe it also shouldn't risk his Dianzi, he should just go in the heat churn. Like, the Yanthi can put in work later, there's no reason to stay in, especially with uh, both people having a Bulu, um, Grassy Tyrion is gonna be up quite often, which means the Yanthi can even, like, uh, take a hit from Landris. Also, the Victi the Zoe Kun is most likely sub protect Scald Calm and Wind Kun because he has Grassy Terrain support. So he can easily get it. Uh, if he subs up, he can easily get his health back with leftovers and uh, Grassy Terrain. Yeah, so Oblivion stays in. I agree with Snow's play, just bullet punching because even if Heatran comes out, you have then uh, Greninja, Zoe Kun, or Lando to go out into. Lando can switch in once on Tran. So now we see the trend come out here, we're gonna either see the um, the rocks or the Madness Storm. And Oblivion, I understand this play, because if Snow U-turns there on the Heatran, and then he gets in the Coon, and then he can potentially burn the Bulu, that would be bad for Oblivion. But I still think it was not worth it risking the DNC at all, but I see where he's coming from with his play. So he does just Madness Storm, he should do a bit over half, yep. So now this is most likely Z-move. Um, Oblivion is either gonna go to Bulu or Katana. I think Bulu is not the play, though. The thing is, if it's Sky Strike, Katana will take a lot from that. So if it's Skystruck, Oblivion just doesn't have a good switch in here, and I think he would probably get a kill if it's Skystruck. Let's see if it is that. It is Continental Crush, so Katana is going to be able to eat that up as it gets a crit. Now, Snow should always go into Scissor here. Uh, Oblivion might double in the Heatran, but even if Oblivion doubles in the Heatran, Snow can then um, go into either Greninja Suicune or sack his Lando next turn. But if he stays in on a potential Leaf Blade and loses his Lando, and then goes Scissor next turn, I feel like that's just kind of a waste of the Lando, because you can keep it as a potential sack, or it can potentially get up rocks later in the game. So I think Scissor is definitely the play here, and then if he goes into Tren, then you can decide if you want to sack the Lando next turn, or if you want to go to one of your water types, but he does stay in, Oblivion catches him with a Leaf Blade. Now Scissor is going to come out here, um, Katana is most likely locked in, Scissor can come out and go for a slow U-turn, and Oblivion is probably forced to go in Heatran. Yeah, like I said, I would not have stayed in there if I was Snow, I would have uh, gone to Scissor. Because even if he goes trend, you can still play around it, like, you always have to... You wouldn't be in a really bad position. It would be annoying, but it would not, like, put you, like, in a super bad spot. So, yeah, um, Scissor comes out here and clicks U-turn. I don't think he wants to go Victini. So, the Victini is gonna be U-turn, V-create, uh, Bolt Strike, and the last move could be... Could be a few things. Could be Zen Hepat, could be Brick Break for Tita, could be Final Gambit, could... I don't know, something like that. But yeah, Oblivion obviously has to switch here into his uh, this heat turn. Uh, uh, Snow is going to heat turn, and then Snow can um, probably get his Suicune in, and then uh, probably try to burn the incoming Bulu with a Scald. But yeah, I think the score of the series is five and two at the moment for Snow's team, the Cryos. So Oblivion wants to win this for his team there on the back. So yeah, he does just U-turn on the obvious. Uh, Heatran. Now we will see if the Heatran has leftovers. That means it cannot be Z-Move. So if the Heatran has lefties, I think that the Z-Move is going to be on the Zygarde. So there's the Suicune. Snow should sub here if he has that. Just because in case the Heatran stays in and has Toxic, there's no reason to risk that. So just subbing is completely fine. And I mean, I believe it is most likely going to go into Bulu or he's going to stay into Toxic. And sub covers everything. If you're fast Kun, you're faster than Tren. You cannot get Toxic if he stays in. You just sub. And if the Bulu comes out, you get the health that you lose from subbing, you get them back, get that back anyway from grassy terrain, leftovers next turn, you can protect and you get all your health back and you can PP stall the Bulu a bit. So there's the sub, uh, now you can protect, you can see what the Bulu goes for, Horn Leech or Woodhammer here, let's see, so let's go for Woodhammer and yeah, now Snow can uh, go for Scald, we can see he's back at full almost, pretty much he's back at full next turn, and yeah, he gets a chance to get a burn here and then next turn you can go to Scissor. 
There's the burn. Now the thing is, actually Snow can just sub again here because if he subs again, that covers Olivia doubling into Heatran on the Scizor and it covers, like that just catches any double and Olivia stays in, you still stall him, PP stall him with pressure and you don't lose any PP because you get leftovers and grassy to run back and you can protect, so you can like twice, you get like this turn recovery back and then you can protect to get the next turn some recovery back. So I think subbing is definitely the play here just in case Olivia wants to double, but he just goes Scizor. And I believe it doubles into Zygarde, okay, so he was um, trying to threaten the Suicune with the Zygarde, so this is most likely DDZ move, um, because we saw the turn with left was lefties and the Katana is probably Scarf, so Snow can U-turn out here as, I believe it is probably gonna Dragon Dance, because if he goes in the heat turn, he just gives his momentum away, he doesn't want to do that. So yeah, Snow is gonna U-turn into... Either the, the Greninja or into the Victini, I would say. Let's see. And I mean, no, no, no. If, he, if the Zyga Dragon is here, then he can't go Greninja. Then he has to then he has to go into either um, Bulu or Victini, actually, I think. Yeah, yeah, yes. If, if the Zyga Dragon is here, he has to go Bulu or Victini. But Bulu doesn't really beat it without Grassy Terrain, so I think he would... Let's see if he has something on Victini for this. I mean, he's. I think he's forced into Victini and then... If he has final gamut, he can go for that, or he could have Glacier as well. So there's the Victini, and yeah, if it's Scar final gamut, which would make sense, then that should definitely be able to pick off the Zygarde here. And yeah, obviously Victini uh, is base 100, so with the Scar, it outspeeds Zygarde. Zygarde uh, obviously has less base speed. Um, and yeah, I think if the Greninja, has, especially if the Greninja has Battle Bond and Snow plays the ball, that should be able to win him the game if he's able to hit the pump later in the game like I think most of the time he's gonna be fine by just clicking um, like he will not have to click pump that often but there will be a few scenarios where he might have to click pump and rely on hitting uh, so yeah Glacier or Final Gambit coming out here and Oblivion kinda has to, um, I mean he might wanna go Tran but Tran would also take a lot from Final Gambit so like Final Gambit is a fine play for Snow because even if Tran comes out he gets a lot of damage on that and then uh, his scissor gets opened up if the trend goes down, right? I mean, trend wouldn't die, I assume, but it would take a lot. It depends on it if on if the trend is max HP. I have not run the cult from the Magma Stone uh, that trended to the land if it was offensive. There's the final gamut picking up the Zygarde, confirming Scarfictini again, even though we already knew that pretty much. Um, so I assume we're going to see the Greninja or the Suicune come out here from Snow side. I mean, he already burned the Bulu, right? With a uh, Skull from Suicune. So uh, sooner or later, if he's battle one Gwen, I'm pretty sure he will be able to get his Ash for him. And put on a lot of work with Greninja. Um, so yeah, Snow can just go hard into Scizor here. And Oblivion is probably uh, probably gonna go for Nature's Madness. Oblivion could also go into Heatran trying to predict the Scizor. And yeah, now we will see... Um, if Snow stays in, we will obviously see if he has, um, if he's Protein or if he's uh, uh, Battle Bond. But I think he's uh, Battle Bond and he's just gonna go hard into Scizor. Yeah, like I said, um, Nature's Madness or Hard Trend here are the options for Oblivion. I mean, this might not be Spike's Greninja because uh, he has a Victini and he has to defog quite often for that. Uh, Spike still makes some sense though, if it's Battle Bond, because he like spikes on stuff like Pex. Mm -hmm. Snow's team is actually really annoyed by Pex now that I look at this. So it is U-turn and it's Battle Bond, wow. So he goes in the scissor here, I assume Nature's Madness comes out as he dodges, that sucks. Because um, Snow would have been forced to roost and Olivia could have gotten his heat turn in, but now Snow um, might be able to U-turn here and keep the momentum up. Because Obliv Oblivion cannot afford to stay in, because if he stays in, takes more damage on Bulu, then uh, Snow can get up the Ash Grand form even faster. So he is U-turn, Water Short and Dark Hydro Bomb most likely on, on Battle Bond Greninja. Okay, so we know more about Snow's team now. And yeah, I assume the, the Bulu is also AV on Snow side. I don't think his Bulu came out yet. Let's see if he U-turns or Bullet Punches. He Bullet Punches. I think U-turn would have been fine there. 
Because even if the Bulu stays in, like, that's fine. Wait, are you, would, a, would the Bulu have been faster than the Scissor? I don't... Hmm. Yeah, I think u would have been fine there. So he does go into Suicune. Let's see if he breaks that with a Toxic. He does just Magma Storm. I don't know if he has Toxic, obviously, but if he had that, that would have been a really cool play to make. Now, yeah, Snow should um, just sub up again. And we see the Taunt comes out. So I think, actually, that... Okay, we don't know yet if it has Toxic, but if it has Toxic, then the rocks are most likely under the Yanzi. So yeah, Kuhn comes back out here. Since it's Taunted, it obviously can't protect, but he can just Scald again. And every little chip damage on the Bulu is really nice for Snow, because that helps him to um, maybe get up his Battleborn form later, as he's gonna, I assume, Horn Leech to break the sub and gets a little bit of health back. I actually did, got 15% back. And yeah, Snow's uh, Scissor is gonna come out here, so the Nature's Madness from uh, Oblivion. Yep. Uh, Snow's gonna roost here, Oblivion is gonna go on his Heatran. And now... Suicune is gonna come again, let's see if he goes for Toxic this time, or if he Magmas again. He does go for Toxic this time, nice. So he did have it. So Toxic, Magma Storm, Elf Parton is what I'm thinking, and that means I think Rocks were on the Deanthe. So there's just Scald here, every little chip is nice on the Bulu. I mean, now he's not really doing much to the Bulu since uh, Aggressive Terrain is cancelling out the, the burn chip damage. So I think Snow is gonna go back in the Scissor, this is kind of repetitive, but like this is this is fine for Snow. Um, so Kuhn, Kuhn being poisoned is fine. So nice double, nice double by Oblivion breaking the scissor. But now Snow can just go into his uh, Sui Kuhn again because Grassy Terrain and leftovers helps him stay healthy even though he's poisoned. So yeah, Magma Storm is obviously going to do some chip. Uh, the thing is, Oblivion doesn't really want to go. I think Oblivion might stay in here because he doesn't want to switch out into his Bulu repetitively because his Bulu keeps getting chipped, which means um, it cannot it cannot really come in anymore because then it can't switch in on Greninja's Hydro Pump. Exactly, he does stay in. Let's just go for off power here, okay? Does he? He does get a drop. So now Oblivion can actually beat the Suicune with his Heat Run. Uh, so yeah, Snow is just gonna scald again here, and off power should kill. Um, after the spadef drop, off power into poison damage should be able to pick off the Suicune. So Suicune goes down, Heatrun is still somewhat healthy with leftovers and grassy terrain, and now Greninja is gonna come out. And yeah, Greninja is gonna click Hydro Pump here. Oblivion obviously cannot stay in here, he has to go into Bulu, and I think it might be a roll to tweet KO with Hydro Pump. I think it's slightly in Oblivion's favor. Like, I'm not sure, I'm kind of head calking, right? I think AV Bulu should be able to take two pumps. And there's also the chance if it's a roll, he can also dodge one of the two pumps. So this is in Oblivion's favor going hard into Bulu. I mean, he can only do this one more time because he's just getting super chipped on his Bulu. The early burn, like, Snow got the burn relatively early. That did suck for Oblivion, I gotta say that. So there's the pump and we can see that there's uh, 23. So Bulu should be able to take this unless there was a low roll. So yeah, um, the, the scissor is going to come out here. I assume we're going to see the Nature's Madness again, or the Horn Leech to get some health back. But probably the Nature's Madness. The thing is... I don't, like, I think Snow should win this game now, because, like... He does dodge another Nature's Madness. This time there's the, tr um, the Bulu from Snow's side. Um, so Snow is gonna go for either Nature's Madness or Super Power here. I don't think Oblivion is gonna stay in. Oh, he did stay in. Well, okay. Now, I thought he might wanna, um, keep this a bit more healthy to potentially take a pump from the Greninja later on. I mean, to be fair, he couldn't switch into Greninja anyways anymore. And if Greninja ha gets Ash, then it kills the Bulu. So, yeah, it does make sense, actually. So, let's go in the heat, uh, into his Scissor here. Uh, he should U-turn here, right? Yeah. And now he goes into Greninja, and now he just gets his Ash for him. And Oblivion is in a, in a rough spot for sure. He has the Greninja. So he clicks either Dark Pulse or Water Shuriken here, but I think Water Shuriken is a bit better because... Um, like, obviously you don't want to click Pump because you don't want to miss. And yeah. 
If you water shuriken and you get your ash, I mean water shuriken should be able to pick up the to treat KO the incoming Bulu. Cause now nah, the Bulu was super low, right? It also took some more chip. Yeah, yeah. Bulu took some more chip, which means water shuriken should be able to treat KO that for sure if it doesn't oko it. Yeah, you get your ash, and if you have water shuriken up, I think water shuriken does like 75 to 90 or something like that to her lucha. Maybe a little bit less, but it does a lot to her lucha. So if you lock into that. Um, that kind of helps you with Halucha in the sense that Snow um, uh, Oblivion might be tempted to not go for SD with Halucha because he's fearing if you SD and the, the Greninja stays in the Water Shuriken, then I'm a, then I'm screwed over. So that's why I like Water Shuriken a bit better than Dark Pulse here. Uh, yeah, I think Oblivion has to sack the has to sack the um, Bulu here. And, but yeah, the thing is also Water Shuriken keeps the Kartana out. But obviously the Halucha will most likely come out after the Bulu is gonna get sacked off here. But if, after getting Ash from Water Shuriken easily kills Kartana from 55 is I think what it was at. Okay, so that's the Bulu sack. We do see the water shrieking. Yeah, that does make sense. And we're gonna see the battle bond here go off, and Halucha is gonna come out, and then Snow should obviously not stay in because he has to. Um, pretty much, he has to go into Scizor, and he has to bullet punch the Halucha. Bullet punch has more PP than Roost, so he can always get some chip on Halucha. I think bullet punch, even from defensive Scizor, his Scizor is heavily defensive and probably doesn't have attack investment. Oops, my bad. Um, his... I don't know if you guys could hear that. Um, what's it called? His scissor obviously has... Uh, like 48 bullet punches, right? And Roost only has 16 PP. So he's gonna be able to chip the Lucha. And then, after bullet punch chip, Water Shuriken from Budinja always kills. So yeah, um, Snow has to switch out here. Oblivion can SD predicting that. But I assume he's just gonna high jump kick. So the Salucha is either um, high jump kick, SD, acrobatics, and roost, or drain punch in the last slot with Chelsea. I mean, roost is pretty cool on Lucha because it lets you set up easier on helmet landers. Defensive landers cannot chip you down. If you have roost, you can easily set up all over that. But yeah, Snow's only play his hard scissor here. I don't know why his time is still going down. That should be pretty obvious. Oh, maybe his time is also pretty low. Did he uh, steal HJK? He does HJK and he misses, which sucks. I mean, I wouldn't have done too much, but obviously the recall sucks. So now if his Alucha does not have Roost, his Alucha is pretty much a non-threat because Greninja revenges it with Water Shuriken. So if this it has Roost, let's see what he goes for. He does U-turn, um, knowing when it Roosts, it loses the flying type. So U-turn is only resisted, not four times resisted. So get some nice chip off. Um, so he can go into his Greninja here. Uh, but then he obviously has to go back into Scizor. Because Greninja would just die to high jump kick. Since it has Roost, um, since it has Roost, it will not have Drain Punch. Mm -hmm. High jump kick, Acro, and SD are the other moves. And yeah, I think Halucha cannot win the game because Snow goes back into his Scissor here, and Bullet Punch into Shuriken always uh, beats the Halucha. And like I said, Bullet Punch has way more PP than Roost. I, I cannot. Uh, I'm repeating myself. It's fine. Um, so yeah, Snow has to go back, Scizor, I assume he's just gonna high jump kick again. Yup, and he does connect this time. You see that there's absolutely nothing. Um, I believe it is probably gonna SD here. Uh, Snow can either bullet punch or roost. Like, the reason why having Scizor healthy is still nice. Because, um, like, if he can, right? If he can have a scissor healthy, that would be nice for the Katana later on. But since he, um, Katana dies to Shuriken, I think uh, Snow should be fine, anyways. So there's uh, probably Roost here, Oblivion. Yeah, I guess Snow's just gonna spam Bullet Punch. He's just gonna crit there, but that's not. Th that doesn't matter because PP has more than Roost, more PP anyway. And, like, it doesn't matter how healthy Halucha gets, even when it's at full, Bullet Punch will always bring it in range from Shuriken. So I think Oblivion will eventually realize that this Halucha doesn't win and he will then switch out. So he bullet punches again, he roosts here I assume, yup. So yeah, Snow is forced to bullet punch because when it's at full then it doesn't die to Shuriken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Shuriken does like 74 to 90, something like that. Um, 
So now Snow can roost here because... Now nah, he bullet punches again. No, 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 no. Oblivion was always going to roost there. So Snow could have roosted there as well. But uh, well, it's fine. He just needs the damage. Um, nah, I think that was a slight misplay by Snow. But he still should have the game with his Ash Grin. Like, I think he should have roosted uh, with his Scissor. On... Was it turn... On the turn, but it, but it was obvious that the Halucha was going to roost. And he should have roosted with his Scissor as well. So yeah, now he's forced to bullet punch, obviously, because uh, at the moment Halucha is at full, which means it's out of range from Specs Water Shuriken from Greninja. So Oblivion might uh, want to take advantage of uh, the fact that Snow is forced to go for bullet punch here, so he might want to go into his heat turn here. Because like I said, this is just not going to win for him, because he's... Why is he, why is he staying in? It doesn't do anything for him. Roosts again. Um, yeah, like he has to eventually realize that he has to switch, right? So yeah, that's the heat run on the bullet punch. And now I'm um, Snow here, I just go into Greninja. Because Greninja is still at full, if I remember correct. You eat off power, you eat everything. You go Greninja here if you snow. Then you click uh Water Shuriken and get a kill pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, you just go Greninja here. I don't see a downside to that. Like Snow should have this. You click uh you go Greninja here, you live a hit, you click water shuriken, you get a kill, right? And then that forces uh, Oblivion to go into Halucha. And then you um, switch out again. You sack probably the Scizor. Then you come back in with the Greninja um, on the thing. I don't know why he didn't superpower there. He predicted the uh, Halucha probably. But yeah, now Snow can lose the game. I think he misplayed. So basically, let me explain to you. At turn 46, uh, if you went Greninja hard on the trend, then Shuriken gets a kill and forces Oblivion the next turn to go into Halucha. And then Snow could have sacked something, uh, came back in with Greninja, and then click Hydro Pump because Halucha already used its Grassy Seed, which means it doesn't have the speed boost anymore. So then he only has to hit a Hydro Pump, and then he gets a kill. And then Oblivion has to sack either the Kartana or the Halucha, as long as the pump connects. And if he sacks the Halucha, then you switch out, sack your other Mon that you have left, I don't either the Bulu or the Scissor, whatever you had left. You uh, sack that, then you come back with Greninja, and you click Water Shooting with Scarf Katana, and you win. And, yeah, then you win, guaranteed, but now he can lose, like, oh well. Like, the other play that he could have made earlier was roosting up the Scissor on the turn, but it was obvious that Halucha had to roost, but now he, he still would have had the game as long as he had a pump if he went hard grand early on the trend, instead of going Bulu. And now he's obviously gonna Water Shuriken here. He has to Water Shuriken to keep out the Katana, uh, and this, his Scissor is just too low now to be able to take a hit from Scarf Katana. So now Oblivion uh, should win this game, most likely. I think he sacks Heatran here. Snow is forced to Shuriken, then Halucha comes out and gets a kill with High Jump Kick, as long as it connects. And then if Snow sacks his Greninja, Sacred Sword from Katana should win the game for Obliviate. And if he sacks the Scizor, then obviously Water Shuriken doesn't kill Halucha, so he would have to bank... Snow would have to get a crit here. Like, let's say he goes... Like, say he goes into... No, like, Snow cannot win anymore, unless he miss uh, dodges a High Jump Kick here. Because if he goes Scizor... And then comes back and then Hydros to kill the Halucha, then Katana just kills him. His only way of winning is critting a Shuriken. Yeah, yeah, I think he has to crit a Shuriken now. I mean, obviously Shuriken into Bull Budge still kills the Halucha, but it doesn't matter because Scarf Katana wins. Um, yeah, I already explained that he should have um, earlier gone into I th into Heatran, because it's, uh, into Greninja on the Heatran. Because his Greninja was healthy. Like, what could Heatran do to Greninja? It could Toxic, Earth Power, Magma Storm, and Greninja was healthy. So it would have taken everything, right? So, yeah, he, 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 he recognizes his misplay, at least. And Sacred Sword is going to be able to pick off the Scissor here. I'm pretty sure Katana does have a really high attack stat. So even though its base power moves are not that strong, it's going to be able to get the kill here. Unless it gets Super Min or something. Yeah, it's going to be able to get the kill. And I believe it picks up the win for the Scooters. Versus a snow from the cryos and the score in the series is now five and three from the for the cryos. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day. It was still a cool game, but like there were like some some misplays at the end. And yeah, earlier I believe it also sacked his um, Dianthi early on, which I didn't like at all. And yeah, peace out, friends. Stay tuned for more content. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this, and goodbye.